Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a profit pack kit in a 148 scale and it copies quite interesting aircraft. As you can see it's acrobatic aircraft which is named as Z526 AFS. And well it is called as acrobat so it means exactly what you uh, think but in Czech language. And we have a commercial sample here so it means that you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so it will be interesting to check what is actually included in this nice box and why this might be a great build for maneuvers who are tired from military aircraft in the same scale so first of all you can notice we have really beautiful box art i think it is also available as a separate poster so if you would like to have it on your table then definitely go for it it might be an interesting choice to place on your wall here you can see a person with my hand Next, on the side here, you can see some safety advices and address of the manufacturer. By the way, the kit number is 82184. And on the opposite edge, you will find five marking options which are included here. But we will talk more about them when we will be checking the assembly manual, because usually it includes the marking guide as well. So here you can see what we have inside and I would say there is plenty of space so I really doubt that something will arrive damaged to you. As you can see sprues are separated into several plastic bags and now I'm going to start with a clear frame because it's on the top and then gradually we will move on to other stuff as well. So just give me a sec. So here we start with a clear frame. Let's zoom in a bit. Just give me a second. I will try to, let's say, adjust the camera. So here we have canopy parts and I have to say that molding quality is really nice. Obviously you will be able to copy the open canopy as well in 148 scale. This is a must have feature and I have to say that all these clear parts they were great. I can zoom in so that you can check it closer and the only thing required from you is to carefully paint and install all this stuff and because this is a profit pack we should have masks included so it won't be difficult to handle these parts and maybe I will leave it on the table meanwhile I'm opening another plastic bag that would be the first one with the gray plastic sprue so just give me a second and here we have first gray plastic parts these are mostly let's zoom out a bit so these are mostly external ones but we also have some cockpit elements for example here you can see pilot seat and I suggest without further ado we just zoom in so that you can see all these parts in a bit more zoomed in way and I have to say that molding quality is really great you can notice that even the tiniest parts they look nice and they should be easy to install on your model and yes some thin parts they will require due care but I don't think it will be a difficult process and you can see that Coding should be assembled out of two holes but obviously there is nothing inside and frankly speaking I'm not sure if Edward actually produced the engine set I think no but maybe some aftermarket producers will come out with such upgrade for this kit because in 148 scale that would be an interesting let's say addition to your model Next, we continue with two more gray plastic sprues. So, first one is dedicated especially for this version, the single seater. So, I can zoom in a bit more. Here we have cockpit parts. You can see the cockpit walls, cockpit floor, and several new fuselage panels, as well as the wing sections. I mean the ailerons and I can see flaps as well. Everything looks cool so you can see that surface details there are also fine and here you can check these parts from the opposite side. And next we continue with the last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to fuselage house, wing parts and note that each wing side should be assembled out of two halves. We have both fuselage halves molded together with the tail fin and external features include the recessed panel lines and rivets in all necessary spots. I have to say that all this stuff looks really good. As you can see this fabric surface is also quite convincing so it's just a matter of maybe carefully painting all this stuff and maybe copying some pre-shading because it will be important in this scale and inside you can notice that we have some guiding elements so it's not like we have a 
plain plastic parts without any additional elements which will help you with the overall assembly. Next we continue with the traditional profit pack bonuses but in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us with a small donation it's quite easy thing to do because we have a special support the SWE button on our website and it's done via paypal so it should be safe and quick and of course you decide how much we will get for the new kit or maybe for new equipment so here we continue with masks. These are pre-cut, so they're ready to be used straight out of the box. And this is a traditional Edward bonus, so it should be really handy, especially with such canopy as this aircraft. But that's not all. Another profit pack bonus is the pre-painted P fret. So here it is. And this one will be handy both inside and outside. In my opinion, it's a really good thing to install on your model, so don't be lazy, use it and you will see the final result you will be really pleased with how it influences the overall appearance of your model and in 148 scale i think it's a must have because uh, that's the size when uh, where all the p upgrades they start to be noticeable uh, even in the cockpit Next we continue with decals. So here surprisingly we have a segmentation even though we have just five marking options. Still we have uh, clear sections so you can just cut out all the necessary symbols and use them for your marking option. There is a stencil section in the bottom and we also have some decals for the cockpit. This should be handy for modelers who are not that eager to use uh, P parts, but again, I recommend to use them. And of course, decals come from Edward, so we shouldn't be worried about any printing issues because they look great and they are usually easy to work with no matter uh, what's the size of the decal. Next we continue with this assembly manual so it is typical for this manufacturer we have short history note on the first page it's written in English. Next we continue with parts map blue color means that these parts will not be used and you can notice that only few of them will stay untouched and assembly process starts with these cockpit walls which will have to be glued into the fuselage halves. We assemble various internal items which will be placed in the cockpit but there shouldn't be a lot of them this is not a fighter aircraft so you can imagine that the whole cockpit is a more or less spartan i would say here we continue with wings both sides are assembled out of several parts and then there is a special bulkhead which will actually support these wings as you can see they are just let's say put onto it and here we assemble the coating so just to remind you it will be empty inside and as you can see there are some marking specific parts so pay attention to the one to the version you need for your particular type. Here we continue with landing gear parts. We work on the canopy. As you can see, canopy should be also uh, combined together with some uh, PE handles. And of course, you can open the canopy on your aircraft. Here we have masks application guide. It should be handy both for wheels and for the canopy. And as far as you can see, also for some wing sections. But that's not all. We continue with the marking guide. So that's the first marking option from mid-2007. And it's quite colorful. It was on the box art, as you remember. Here we continue with another aircraft from Czechoslovakia 1975. One more from Italy, 1994 black and yellow aircraft. Here we have uh, aircraft from Czech Republic 2011 quite elegant I would say and here we have another aircraft from Czech Republic 2014 this one looks a bit strange in my opinion and here we have some upgrades for this kit so as you can see even the cockpit can be upgraded with brass inset we also have some other kits which we reviewed before so you can check it as well as for today's release it should be already available and as you can guess it's a profit pack so it's not limited in production you can get it on official Edward website of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such least do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye